What is going on, you guys? It's your boy Bat the Hell 24 here, and uh, welcome to some Fluffyverse lore mods. Uh, this is a three mods that uh, kind of like solidify the lore within the Fluffyverse. Um, and the first one we've been playing is Hiroki. Um, so we're gonna do all three of these mods in one video uh, because they're really kind of quick and quick fire mods. So, um, just get them all done in one video. And I'm starting with Hiroki because, funnily enough, in Fluffy Server, there is a channel called the Tummy Box channel, and uh, you can use a mod called Tummy Box to make, like, you know, characters or put on characters using the mods so that you can talk through those, like, bots to make it look like the character's talking and stuff like that. It's good for, like, roleplay stuff, and, um, Fluffy put me on Hiroki because of my sweet and central and very, very lustful voice that I gave Hiroki because heaven only knows that something bad would happen to Daisuke. I'd be on the case in no time at all. And, um, I really need to know how to play Ayanda very well, so I'm playing this mod to kind of get an idea of what, like, Hiroki's past is and all that kind of shit. So, with that being said, hopefully my computer doesn't die on me while I do this. Um, let's, uh, probably just, uh, move down the game audio just a little bit. And here we go. Gotta connect my... My keyboard. T, you're gonna have to move. You're gonna have to move. I got my T here as well. So I'm actually Hiroki now. Uh, that's just some good T. Enough about you. Let's get to me. Ooh, I almost knocked that over. But it killed the fucking mood T, god damn it. I gotta move everything here. Urgh! I actually have to move everything here. Fuck. <laughs> Alright. Are we good? Everything good? Everything fine? I got my tea right here. My water is right there. My desk is a fucking mess, but that doesn't matter because I can reach my keyboard. Let's go. So this is Hiroki's point of view. Hello. My name is Hiroki Mitsu Tatsu. Hiroki Hiroki Mitsue Tatsuo. Okay. I'm 18 years old and a student at Toshiro Academy. I have a sister, Yuri Tatsuo. She's one year. My junior, though, doesn't act it. She doesn't like me, but I don't blame her. I moved out of the house in 1918 and we grew apart. We're almost strangers now. When school's over for the day, I attend the anime club. The anime club runs at 3.30 p.m. to 5 p.m. During this time, we gather in the club room and dedicate ourselves to various activities. There's reading manga, playing visual novels, watching anime, and of course, studying kanji. Our club president is Iki Hisao. Iki his Hisao. Hisao. Okay, Hisao. Iki Hisao. Okay. He's one year my senior and officer sitting his age and authority if I step out of line. We've been friends since I joined the school. He's generally an open book and one of us to help a friend in need. His pacifistic nature has led to various scars across his body from breaking up fights. It's often to his detriment that he nominates himself as the peacekeeper, which is true. He's like Monica, but if Monica did not have powers to delete everyone, you know? He likes to act as though he's in control, but deep down he's struggling just as much as everyone else, just like Monica. His sister has a mental illness. Is that what you're calling it? She had a psychotic breakdown a few years ago when I attempted to murder her classmates in jail for age. Ah, yes, the base game. He pretends that he's gotten over that, but I was the one who called the ambulance after he stepped in to stop a stabbing girl and took the brute of the attack himself. 
I uh, did not say that correctly. <clears throat> I spent the entire duration of her waiting time scolding him about the importance of his life and how she shouldn't risk it, and how she sh and how he shouldn't risk it to save others. God damn it! Then I broke down myself and swore my loyalty to him because it was my sister's survival he prevented. Nobody in the club talks about their siblings. It's almost an unspoken rule. But Iggy's incredibly good at treating Marco as though she's just her, his younger sister. Not a femme fatale in the making. He's tried to reach out to convince me that reaching out to Yuri would be beneficial. But it's a tie so years ago and I have no intention of reforming. Next, there's a club he's, there's a club vice president. Izumi Kos, Kosuke? Kosuke, okay, sweet. Kosuke. He's a year younger than Iggy and me, but shows no sign of immaturity. His sister Sayori hung herself last year, and he's the one who found her body. But you never know that he went through something so traumatic. He never seems to stop smiling and always make sure he's one of the friendly to his own. Okay, so in... In this world... The stuff already happened. And this is, what, like a few years down the line? From after... The thing of the base game? Because instead of the MC funding here, it was Izumi who found Sayori, is that right? Like, this is an alternate universe where this kind of shit happened after the fact? Or is that not right? And I'm just like, you know, that's pretty much it. Okay, so it's a parallel universe where um, this happened after the events of the base game, so. The boys are in place, um, and all their memories surrounding around them are surrounding around them and not the MC, so instead of the MC finding Sayori, it was unfortunately Izumi found Sayori, and Icky had to break up a fight with Monica because she deleted everyone, and, uh, yeah. T. Izu is that one flower you pluck all the weeds around in order to protect. He's a delicate little blossom, and yet we feel like the sunshine needs him more than he needs it. Their jokes were too over his head because of their mature nature, and I found myself feeling slightly guilty about them. Yeah, because he's so fucking innocent. He doesn't know anything about those kind of things, because he's innocent. And you should not loot him. God. He does a little head tilt of confusion like a puppy when he doesn't understand things. It's quite endearing. As a senior, Icky and, Icky and I take him on trips to fun places and do our best to nurture the childishness inside him. It's too soon for him to lose that. He doesn't have to go out just yet. Then there's Daisuke... How do you say that? Daisuke. Okay, so it's Daisuke. Daisuke. So it's not Daisuke, it's Daisuke. Okay, you needed to confirm that because I wasn't trying to pronounce his name. Daisuke Say Seichi? Seichi? Is that it? Daisuke Seichi? I thought you pronounced Seichi, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna just say Seichi because it sounds right. So Daisuke Seichi. Daisuke. He claims his surname is Shashi. Yasashi, like his father and sister, but that's not the case. I found him collapsed inside his house in a paralytic com coma a few days after school began, and didn't really choke to his own tongue. After seeing medical from the hospital and coming around to a coherent state, he told me that his father beats him and forced him to be nothing but a possession. That's true. He must have his father's name, where the efforts requested display the most pleasing aesthetics and treat him like as his superior. Because that's what he does. He's a sadistic bitch and he's a creep. But Tommy's a fucking creep, you know? But I know that his true name is from his mother, Sarah Sayachi. He just doesn't dare to use it because I think him and his mom don't get along well because, you know. Anyone with the situation would break down and give up and not die skin. He's a small and fragile as a rabbit in a den of wolves, yet he fights through every day nonetheless. He always has a smile for me, acts as though I'm the light in this dark world. 
I lost control of her for one day and slashed my arms to ribbons with my fingers so slick with blood that I could no longer hold my knife. He took my hand in his own and held to his heart, offering a smile that calmed my mind and quelled my madness. Can I just say that I shit Dark Skin Hero? Like, I ship that. I also ship Dark Skin Nozumi. And in some weird way, I ship Monica and Tommy. I don't know fucking why, but I mean, that's a ship that I also do. Like, shit. I don't have a voice for Dice Gay. Shit. I have all these voices for. Actually, no, I don't have any keyboards. I don't have a. Mm. I'm just gonna. It's okay. He said, seeing past the chaos in my eyes, to the desperation buried inside. You're okay. I couldn't believe that even going through such a torment at home, he still found room for comfort in me. There's nothing. Yeah, Atomica. Yeah, Atomica is a ship in the surfer. Yeah, Atomica is such a ship. Like. There's nothing we can do about his abuse because his father's a pill of society with just kids. But he never gives up. His father's a cop. He was an architect, but no, he's a cop. Eh? 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 When the moment I met him, I knew that he was meant to be mine. Ah, oh, yes, there's that yandere instinct right there. Even though he belongs to someone stronger and older than me, I'm not gonna go be there. Just breathing the same air as him is bliss. Taking, talking to him clears my mind of all his sanity, and his touch is intoxicating. Which means that Daisuke is the forefront of Hiroki's mind at all times. Like you know, Daisuke walks into him, and he drops his finger, like, "Oh, hey, Daisuke, how are you?" Like he, he literally just like drops everything and just converses with them because Daisuke is here to obsession. And anything threatening that obsession, you know what happens. Like you've seen Yandere Simulator. Anything threatening Hero's obsession, Hero's gonna do whatever it takes to make Daisuke be his. Even if it means doing a little bit of, you know, stabby stabby every once in a while, you know? But I don't think that uh, Hiroki is going to try to kill Atomi. I mean, I think you could try, but I don't. I don't know what a matchup of that would be. Uh, yeah, I don't think Hiro would have the guts to uh, kill Atomi because of Daisuke's feelings. He'd probably think about what Daisuke would feel like if Hiro killed his dad. I don't know, man. I don't know. But if it was like Monica or something like that, then I could totally do that. Like, holy shit. Yo, Victor, what's going on? What's going on, Victor? We're doing a, uh, we're doing the lore mounds of the Fluffyverse. But yeah, if it was like Monica or something like that, like Kato could definitely like, you know, call some damage to Monica because she's helping a Tommy, like it's an, it's like it's like she's associated with the Tommy, and therefore Monica's threatening Daisuke. So Hero's like, oh, uh, this bitch needs to die. I long for the day I can hold my arms. He moaning my name as I give him the pleasure he deserves and that nobody else is allowed to provide. Ah. I see. Yeah, it's essentially game over if he even finds out, yeah. If Hiro finds out that Monica is threatening Daisuke, that's, that's it, like. Hiro's like, well, I guess this bitch needs to die. I'm about to stab a bitch to death. You know? Sometimes I lose myself. 
I feel like a feral beast and I seek some fathom of strength to release me again. Ah, uh, yes. Because he loves the dice game a lot. Like, so much. You haven't seen this one? This is lore for the Fluffyverse. Um, if you have not seen the Fluffyverse mods, and I highly suggest you watch the Fluffyverse playlist that I have on my channel. It has all the mods and the Fluffyverse in it. You can get caught up with basically what the story is so far. He blushes in protest. He pulls against me and makes a sound of captured prey. But he never uses violence to deter me. He could kick or scratch me, spin my face, call for help. But that would have consequences for me, so he doesn't. He just waits until I'm done. Understanding me. Accepting me. I held myself back because I know I may enter destroying him with my devotion. Ah oh, yes, because Yandere's have the tendency to kill their obsession. Like, and it's like, then what? He holds himself back because his father has him in a chokingly tight leash, and it would lead to his death to fall against it. One day I may snap and end up killing that man. I never considered murder as a viable option. It's a crime and a sin and a fuse can be either. But in the heat of the moment, none of those factors register. There are no restraints, nothing to adjust my loathing. Ah, yes, because when the Hiroki gets into that Yandere sense of mind, there's nothing that can stop him. Well, except for Daisuke. Daisuke is the only one that can stop him. But then there's a conflict. Does Hiroki continue? What he's doing, like for example, if Hiroki finds out that Monica is threatening Daisuke and is helping Atami, uh, like beat and uh, dare I say, rape Daisuke, um, Hiro would go into a rage, like, an, like an unsatiable rage, and like just go at Monica and like stab her, but. If Daisuke shows up in that scenario, would Hiro continue to kill her? Or would he let Daisuke stop him? Because if we gotta think, the Yandere's obsession is what they strive for. And if the obsession finds out that they're killing someone, he'd kill Monica first and working again Daisuke back up. Really? Well, I guess that's true because, you know, Yandere, Yandere tendencies cause him to, like, not think about anything in the moment. Um, not even Daisuke in the moment. So, yeah, that's, that makes sense. That he would kill Monica without hesitation and then turn to Daisuke and then, not, like, try to, like, comfort him and shit. I wonder how that would work, though. I wonder what, how that would work, though, because... Hiroki would kill Monica, see that Daisuke watched the entire thing, he would like actually freeze up. Yeah, Monica's too dangerous to let live because she could kill Daisuke at any moment. Yeah, true. She's just as bad as Atami in this situation. And by the way, we're talking about the fluffy verse version of Monica. Not not the canon one that's in the base game. Uh, fluffy made um Fluffy made a version of Monica that was specifically for Fluffyverse that it was helping Daisuke's dad. So Monica's just as bad as Tommy in this situation. Damn. Yeah, that's crazy. That's wild, dude. That's fucking wild. Holy shit. I see myself incarcerated before I saw Daisuke decease. He's everything to me. My life doesn't matter as long as this continues. Other rabbits have crossed my path in the past, equally vulnerable and tenacious as my own prey. But they're not him. They hold no interest for me, so I never pursue them. Ah, yes, because once a Yandere has a possession, an obsession in mind, they only care about that possession. They don't care about anyone else. 
they only care about that one person. In this case, it's Daisuke. So Hiroki only cares about Daisuke, no one else. If anyone else is like, you know, trying to get with them, that's fine and all. Like, he won't give a fuck. He's all about Daisuke. Sometimes it frustrates me that he does not have my affections. I know that he puts me away for his own preservation, but that doesn't make it turn any less. He injects a rock into his thoughts and applies a mask a mask of ice to stop people from getting too close, but I see through it. He may betray himself as a dog with the fangs and jaws of a killer, but that doesn't make it so. I let him bark at me sometimes, I hear him growling and acknowledge the defense behavior. Cause he doesn't know what you're gonna do here, like the thing is like he was unpredictable. Like Yandere's are unpredictable. Like and I'm just speaking off of this because of my experience with Hiro. Like, I haven't... I haven't come in contact with any Yandere's except I do have a, a friend, a Discord friend who's a Yandere, and I do have... And I am in Discord servers with people that are Yandere's. So this is just from me reading what they say, and from Hiro's, and from what I've seen Hiro say. I forgot what I was saying. What was I saying? I don't know what I was saying. I lost track of what I was saying. Fucking hell, dude. He tells me they're just bruises, just cuts. Just scrapes and grazes and scratches and it doesn't make it any better. It's not a big deal, don't make a fuss out of it. But a beautiful canvas is supposed to be painted, not marred. The paper torn, the color splattered. It's an abomination. He never lets anyone else get this close. Zumi drew new ones and it sent him into a panic. Yeah, Yandere is unpredictable. Like, they can do anything on a whim. And it's like. Yeah, it's like. Yeah, like. They're just unpredictable, like... They can flip the switch! Like, at any point, and it's like... Whoa, okay, yeah, huh? Uh, it's like... Ugh. It's like, I'm gonna go right now. Like, not die, please. <laughs> I don't wanna get involved with this. He can have the details of it to and feed the possession of the truth. So he keeps them at a safe distance, friends with an abyss between them. Not that he knows the dark secrets about him except me, he can't let his guard down and let's well on together. As if he would feel helpless along with him, it would only worsen the burden Daisuke has to bear. But I only resent this situation. My hatred for his father grows deep every day. Ah oh, yes, because Daisuke tells Hiro about what Atami is doing to him, like how he beats him, how he rapes him. Sorry for the language. Sorry for the language, but like it's a thing that happens, and it's like, uh, like I know people don't like the R word, but like it's a thing that happens, and it's like you can't avoid it. It's like you can't avoid shit like that. Like in a mod like this, like it's kind of who Daisuke is, like. All his life is just getting beat and raped and abused by Itami, and it's like... I can understand why Hiro hates Itami so much, because... He's beating his obsession! Like... No wonder Hiro wants to kill Itami, because... Yeah, dude, holy shit. Wow. That's fucked. That is so fucked. He can be truly open with me. No mask or faint smiles. I'll never leave him as long as I live. I'm the only who can make him happy. He can protect him from the pain of the world. That one silver lion has 
tempest through a storm instead. It's just physical violence. I don't smell the scent for that man in the skin. There's no evidence that he's been violated. I mean... It's implied though, right, Fluffy? Like, it's implied that he is sexually abused, right? Because I'm pretty sure it is implied. It is and it isn't? Okay, so it's kind of a weird situation with that then. Yeah, it's kind of a weird situation with that then. Should that ever happen, I no longer feel obligated to hold myself back. All the heavy into flesh on Tony's body and forces it down his throat until he chokes on it. Yes, the bastard has a name. Tommy. That's the man who abuses his son. Just thinking the moniker makes bile rise in my stomach. I prefer not to use it unless it's necessary to have fire. I don't want to make things worse, so I'll keep chaining myself to morality and gritting my teeth until I have permission to strike. It means if you come, but still, the need for approval becomes obsolete if that line is crossed. I'll hunt him down and eviscerate him. They never rise, but I'm biding my time just in case. It's all I can do, and risk losing dice if I act without authorization. Well, I mean, to be honest, I mean, yeah, it happens here, but it's another game over. It's gonna break back to if it happens, so we're pretty much saying it hasn't. Okay, so, for all intents and purposes, all that stuff about the rape and stuff that I said. Um, we're just gonna pretend that I never said that because in in canon uh, it never happened. In canon, it it never happened. We're just gonna say that Itami abused abuses Daisuke physically. We're just gonna say that no sexual abuse, no anything. Definitely hate of feet. But yeah, um, what was I gonna say before? I mean, he doesn't really need authorization because at some point if, if Hitami does end up like diddling his son and like sexually abusing his son, like if, basically if Hitami violates the dice again anyway, like Hiroki is gonna have a reason to kick into high gear and, like, kill him. But that's the thing, though. Would, would Daisuke kill Tommy? Given the chance, would he kill Tommy? Yeah, because once Tommy violates Daisuke, there's no turning back. Like, if Hiro knows about that shit, like, he's gonna go on a rampage. But yeah, Hiro's not strong enough. So there'd be no way that he could kill Tommy. He could try, but there's no way that he could kill Tommy because Tommy's stronger than him. So. I don't know. I wonder what would happen if Hiro and Tommy got into a fight. Yeah, I wonder what would happen if a Tommy and Hero got into a fight. And to have him here to fear me would be worse than dying myself. But if Tommy's walking on the thinnest of ice, one more step would cause a crack. It, yeah, it would be visceral. It would be very visceral. Holy shit. Like, blood everywhere. Tommy wouldn't die though, because let's be honest. And like you said, Tommy is stronger than Hiro. And I'll be ready to break through when that happens. I don't want to be forced to abandon my humanity, but there won't be a reason to hold back if such an event occurs. Like, like I said, like I said, there won't be any reason to hold back 
If I tell me about it, it's dicey. Like, that's real. I thought to do everything in my power to prevent that threat in that first place. But fever is on our side. We're just kids bound by the laws of society. And reaching the beasts inside the last resort and will destroy me. I'll just make sure that it just tries to tell me first. For now, though, we'll continue as always. We'll keep attending school and supporting each other, all four of us. You can keep them in the club, dice go with manga and joke around. I'll tease on a door menu doing what he needs on child for as long as he can. That's how it has to be. None of us will have age, we're more as a code of purgatory. Life is a game, kid, you entertain. And this is where it comes out that he don't knows that this shit is a game. And he knows about the code. But he's not sentient, if that makes sense. I think. I think. Because that's where the lines are blurred, though. Like, is he sentient or is he not sentient? Like, he knows... It's all a game. And this line right here, the uh, coded purgatory, shows that he knows somewhat about the code. So is it up to, is it up to like imagination whether or not he's sentient? Since we can't change the script, we just have to follow the rules. We're doing the best we can. I don't think anyone knows the reality of our existence would do no good to become the others. Well, Zumi asked me to start a diary, so I suppose this can be considered the first entry. Yeah, he is self-aware at least. Like, he does know that he's in a game. He's self-aware. He does know that he's a character. And I do feel a little better for venting. Explain everything to an intimate listener. Maybe I'll write to you again tomorrow. And now we need to get ready for school. But thank you for listening. And that is... It? Yeah, that's it. Okay. Wow, that was longer- that took longer than I thought. Cause I was like talking and shit. Wow. Wow, that took me half an hour to get through. Holy shit. Uh, I said I'd do them all in one video, so consider this a large video. Now we have Daisuke. I'm gonna pause the recording until it goes up. On to the next one, Daisuke. This lore, the lore, it was just as a diary of venting or anything that you don't want to tell anyone. I live with my dad in a two bedroom house. That's well, not really a secret though, everyone knows that. My hands are shaking just thinking about someone finding this. Can I really put my soul into these pages? I'll throw it in when I'm finished, there's no harm in that. I have an actual soft voice, but I only use it when I have to. My father says it's perfect for begging, it's the one time he's not annoyed by me. His name is Atami, and he's never allowed me to call him anything remotely close to paternity instead of it. Mom moved out when I was about seven and took my sister Natsuki with her. Before she left, my parents used to shout at each other a lot. My would always end up crying, holding me in her arms, and apologizing to me. I never knew what she was sorry for, but I always told her it wasn't her fault. I'm gonna leave all this behind, Daisu. I'll make her a new place to live and she's gonna take you away from daddy because daddy's a bad man. I was old enough to know what that she was right. Even though he hadn't heard me and my sister yet, he'd make mom beg for her life and cow and feel whenever he talked to her. But when the day came that we were supposed to leave, mom didn't seem happy. She was crying again and stood in the door with all a packed suitcase that she yelled at me with anguish in her voice. You can't keep me away from him! He's my son! The court rule said I have custody. If you seem to scare us again, they may change the verdict on letting go of a child at all. I'll have you myself if you get this up. Get out of my house. But now! And mom was gone. 
There was nothing you could do, which didn't involve breaking the law. It was a court order that I had to learn with the dummy. I didn't stop her from trying. She turned in at the police station several times to try to plead her case and we was allowed to physically take me away after picking me up at school. Due to that, she was arrested. But luckily not charged, though they told her she'd be sentenced if she broke the law again. To make matters worse, the dummy filed a restraining order against her, fully ensuring that she'd be out of her lives completely. I was a pretty normal kid except for the fact that I didn't speak at school. She just knew me as the quiet child. They assumed I was just shy and tried to get me involved with activities to make friends. Making friends is not well. Let me find my voice again. I was in a safe environment where I could act freely and know what would shout at me. When I got home, a ton of women eating dinner as I made my room. A dinner. Quote unquote dinner. You know? The big fucking quotes there. Dinner. Like. <laughs> you know? Make you eat it off the floor. Kind of dinner. I got the impression he didn't like me very much, but that was okay. I slept on the floor and had no heating since the day I'd been turned off the wall. But that was okay too. The problem was when I learned to say no. We were doing a spelling test at school and the boy next to me in my class didn't want to join in. Toshiro, can you spell giraffe for me? No. You can't until you don't want to. Don't want to. Alright. How about you, Soto? Yeah. I mean, the floor can be a plaintiff. The floor, the floor can be a plaintiff if you're imaginative enough. Yeah. I mean, the whole world's your plate. No, wait, that's gross. Ew, no, ew. That's gross. That's gross. And just like that, she moved on to someone else. Because of this, what Toshiro had conveyed an aversion to what he'd been asked, and she'd accepted it. When I got home, but Tony called me up outside the couch, panic and tease. Come and sit on Daddy's lap. I didn't want to. Stupidly, I thought if I said no, he'd react the same way the teacher did. I scare you. You know full well that because of what Tommy is, he's not gonna accept no for an answer. He's gonna fucking whoop your ass. No. No. I don't want to. Oh, I see. He was so definitely calm, and he always was going to hit me until it happened. <coughs> Bitch slapped right across the fucking face. That's what happens when you say no to me. As the pain stung my cheek, I could all about one kid's cry. I don't understand what I did wrong, I just knew that I hurt. A tummy's voice was jumping tough at him as he reached out to me. Hey, come here. While the boss was telling me the fear of what happened if I didn't, I obeyed that time. He wrapped his arm tightly around me, pinged me to his chest and made himself a grip and leaned me down and growled in my ear. If you don't stop that pathetic meal, I'll really give you something to cry about. I the words you're looking for are, I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Good boy. Get out of my sight. From that day on, things got worse. I never disobeyed him again, but he hit me anyway. Yeah, what is this song, uh, Fluffy? It's a very nice song. He'd come home from work and call me down for a move with a belt in the sand. As the years passed, his methods changed. One day, I was able to chop below the glass bottle and get some back if I came through the door. He doesn't drink, which is what you may find surprising. I think it'd be better if he did, but there's any other reason for acting the way he does. But no. He just keeps a bottle around out of habit. When I was 14, I learned why. Music? Hello? Okay, there we go. Took a while for the music to kick in again. To kick in again. I thought that if I could get this. Yeah, it's known as A2 MP3 in the files, whatever that is. Let me just look up here to see exactly what. Who made this? Yeah, 
Yeah, some like, some Japanese thing. It says I'm gonna have my dog before he got to me, then I at least have one more drive before it began. The second I turn to flee the room, the bottle smashed against the wall on my head. Shots of glass lights on my skin, blood drenched my fingers as I covered my face and cried out. Guess what stick tried from and I paid the price for that. I didn't do it again. Of course, cause like, oh my god, this is loud, my ears! Fuck. Way too fucking loud in my ears. It's not loud for you guys, but holy shit, it's like overpowering. No. Uh, if you copy the name to Google, it'll take you to the creator page. Ooh, interesting. Yeah. I did. It's. I did turn on the volume in my in my headset. I'm at like 20 now. Usually I'm at like 40 or something like that, but I don't know why the music is so goddamn loud. I didn't do it again. Not only did I get the beating room of my life, but it also stopped feeding me. If you don't like that company, then you don't serve any food. I'm starved for all I care. Thankfully, your friends at school were kind enough to share their lunches with me. Ah, yes, and did Atomi find out about that? Of course he did, because he's fucking Atomi, and he knows all! He knows everything about what happens to Daisuke and shit, because, yeah. That's, uh, that's, yeah. But I was school for good, I was, on, I was on my own again. So I had to find ways for a piece of money in order to stay alive. I know something you'd say a lot, was like Tanatsuki. Why can't you be more like your sister? I never wanted a boy. Boys aren't cute or pretty. The one thing I did to speak without permission, I was to ask a very important question. How can I be cute for you, sir? Oh? That was the first time I've ever seen him truly smile, and to this day that expression haunts me. He began to dress me up like a little doll, posing my limbs and break barking words at me until I looked exactly how he wanted me to. Then he got my clothes and I replaced them with the cute ones. Pink and white frill and lace face so and showed far too much skin and made me highly comfortable, but I wore them anyway. My hair was generally shoulder length and refused to like cut it or ask that of anyone else. Wants a girl, so he's making Daisuke dress up like a girl. <sighs> I do not like him. I don't like the Tommy. Fucking freak, fucking weirdo, fucking pervert. <laughs> Instead, he tied up in a red ribbon at the back. Friendship up to the look so that my so that hair would fall to my eyes and then that again with approval. After cheating my parents, I hoped that him being cute would stop him fanning me. But the pretty clothes was cost the leading the look than the tight hair gave me with the ball. Yep, okay. Mm hmm When I became a first year, the boys would only to tease and bully me about my style. I wanted to be able to but to but bleh, uh, I can't speak. I learned to retaliate, to snap back at them and give it as good as I got. I had like I was suspended for fighting. One news got back to town when you laid into me on a whole new level with anger. It pushed me through the breaking point. I went until he got bored of me and left and took one of his vodka bottles of that whole thing that was being outside. I went to the hospital. That's when I met Hiroki. Thank goodness you're awake. You were such a state when I found you. I thought you might not make it. Your your hands are warm. Is, is this right? I don't want to touch you if you're not. It's nice. There was something about him that just made me feel safe. I didn't need to put on a mask with him. I could just let my guard down by myself. When the nurse is off the door, I told him everything about Tommy. 
He was furious at first, speaking as though we could just drag my father before the law and make our event. But when he learned about Dummy's status as a lieutenant and how cleverly he had the injuries, who really knew it wouldn't be so easy? Here, first year, right? Mm hmm, just joined. That means we're in my class. I'm a second year, but we haven't missed the students in our lessons. I haven't seen you around yet. We should rectify that. My friend was an airman hall on the circuit before I left school. You should come along. Then only three of us at the moment. You'd be a welcome addition. Anime club? Indeed. Some of the parents will let the children attend if it sounds uneducational. So it's written on the center was a study workshop. No one just got into a right? Right. I hope that with that as my excuse, I'd be able to stay without backlash from Tommy. And the backlash just continued because, um. Tommy's a fucking bitch. You know? So after telling him that I wanted to raise my grades by singing late after class, I got permission to go to the anime club. I was so nervous at first, but with Hiroki introduced me to everyone, they welcomed me with open arms. I remember a second year now, I've settled into a rhythm. It didn't take long for me and the club members to become firm friends and never look back. Hiroki's like my god dog. He's always so protective of me and makes me feel safe. Izumi's literally a puppy. He's still in such a rare sunshine to be around. He's like the father I wish I had. He was responsible and caring and looks out for me to make sure I'm comfortable in the club. So, even though my home life doesn't really help me the best, I think I'm going to be okay. I should contact my mom, but I can't find any record for her. No details of a single person that knows her name. Turning back on the volume because, uh, music is fine now. But I did find one fight in my past. That's just a. She's going to a fine young lady, feisty and spunky. But she didn't provide the reading I was hoping for. You know what he was like? Why didn't you leave when you had the chance? I didn't get the chance! Don't think you can look to me with your problems, Daisuke. As far as I'm concerned, I don't have a brother. You're just a stranger to me. That's gay. I can't believe Papa made you look like me. That's precious. He must really miss me. We had a been together not for you causing him to file that restraining order. How was that my fault? Well, it wasn't mine. He's not a good man. You don't want to be with him. Trust me. Why should I? He doesn't but nice to me. He said that I was a special little angel and I would break his heart to let me go. Of course he did. Just because you weren't his favorite, you just had to fuck it up for everyone else. Did mom tell you that? Mom just said we had to leave. She never tells you why. So it's gotta be your fault. Sure, we'll go with that. I can bear to argue with her any longer. Not only had Tommy take my mom away from me, but it also poisoned my sister's mind too. We don't have to see each other during the claws, and obviously we have separate homes, so it doesn't hurt as much as we used to when we see presents with strangers. Well, I don't need a sister. Not my friends and that's all that matters. Speaking of them, I'm uh, supposed to be at school soon. I'll take you with me rather than burning you. Maybe I'll get a chance to write, you to write to you again at some point. Yes, it was right. I guess I do feel a little better. How do we even finish time into this do this out? I'm running to myself, essentially. So what do I want to leave myself on? Um, aha! I know I need to sit to myself in the future. Keep pushing through. You'll be okay. And that is the end of... Daisuke's lore mod thingy. Yeah. Final lore mod. This is, uh, Izumi. Izumi time. Izumi time, boys. <coughs> Gotta get my voice here. <coughs> I'm fine. <coughs> <laughs> Dear diary, do, do you know how to stop hard from hurting? No, if you if you do, can can you tell me? I, I don't think that's working quite right. I really shouldn't feel so bad to love someone. But this is actually a boy I've had feelings for since we met. When when he smiles for me, I, I feel warm and fuzzy inside. I but when he smiles to someone else, but oh shit. 
Fluffy, that actually made me jump. Like, no lie, that caught me off guard. Holy shit. It's like my, feels like my wor world is gonna shatter. I, I know how selfish it is to feel this way, but I, I can't help it. It's as though he's d directly linked to my emotions and c controls my heart with its own desires. I, I miss him when he's not around, but it doesn't cause any pain. J just to get inside. It's only when I seem to be showing affection for somebody else that my, my heart strength will become sloppy and start tearing into me. Her Heroki knows how I feel, but he he's told me that this craving will be apart if I'm not careful. He, he knows I feel very risky, but I'm not acting on them. In an unspoken loyalty, he doesn't act on this feeling either. Honestly, I don't, I don't think either of us can actually have Daisuke. He, he seems to be afraid about out of wage. Reed, standing on the cliff's edge while smiling with his tears. Easy, what's wrong? Nothing. <laughs> S sorry if I worried you. Spitting out again. <laughs> yeah, I seem, I seem to be doing that a, a lot recently. You're not gonna do Ukiyo and change with Sonalis on me, are you? No, oh, no, it's just, it's just me in here. I wouldn't mind none of you, honestly. We can make an easy sandwich. Da Daisu! What? He reached out to smoke my hand. I know this is almost lined with patches. What? Uh, that looks owie. Are, are you okay? This? The cat got me. He took a lot of deep risky model sick when it's coming and became a clogging machine. It's just a few lines, nothing to worry about. Stop with that! Please! I, I, I've seen him use that expression before when he's talking about his injuries. It, the spell he used to stop you from moving. But but I know he's hiding something. He, he probably has a valid reason for not opening up to me, but it, it still is inside. Especially when he has more private talks with the on that smile fades. When he doesn't smile, he's telling the truth and about something which uh, pains him. I know, I know that for a fact because the smile always appears when I arrive to join the competition, and it's not a welcoming one. Sometimes it would just snap at me and tell me to go away. At least then I have a reaction out from him, but it's an insight that so something truly really is wrong. The worst part's not knowing my the worst part's not knowing my my, my brain imagines a million scenarios where you've fallen victim. Maybe he's in debt and being blackmailed by a lone shark. Maybe he's been learned to a gang and asked to fight the other members of status. Maybe he's... He promised me cookies, you know. His, his, his teasing voice made your blush while I decided to turn down the favor. Yo, purple nerd, what's going on? Welcome to the stream. We're doing this, um... This fluffy verse lore mod called, uh... Izumi, you pulled an all-nighter cleaning your house? You're practically drunk? I mean, that's what... That's me when I pull an all-nighter. Like, I get unusually, like, super tired and, like, just groggy through the entire day. Is that all I am to you? A, a cookie stall? You can go set for it and be your cookie. Have to let me cover you in chocolate, though. Here goes to sit down as Dyson and I begin flirting with the other. I swear I see his eyes flash for their fault with both holding me to my distance. So, cover me in. You, you shouldn't say things like that. Man, you're too cute. Wow, you fell asleep for 10 minutes? Jesus. Come on, hand over. Uh, um, I've asked about it before, but I, I just can't help trying to delve deep into the mystery around Daisuke. Uh, uh, what did you hear about? You always look so sad when you when you're true chatting. Have you been spying on us? Uh, no, I've, I've just seen you being all secretive and stuff, that's all. You're not jealous, are you? I, I... Are you worried that he was gonna dig his claws into me? Uh, that's not what I said! I know, I just love teasing you. We talk about you stumbling up whispering to that they're like lovers. Honestly, the idea of a relationship is a scary one. I'm not really settled on us yet. Well, if that changes, you'll be the first to know. Hino's a great friend, but he's not my puppy. You know that my heart lasts with you. I feel my chest is going to explode when he says that. But, 
But I still find myself wondering what's stopping him from actually making the move. Daisu isn't a player or anything like that. He's not, he's not willing to see what happens with stringing anyone along. So, sometimes I can see, I swear I can see a chain around his neck when I, I ask about our relationship. He hits his fingers when he gets steel and tries to break the links, but it's to no avail. Something's keeping him from taking that step. I'm not forcing him to miss me. I'm really I'm not, but it's okay if he doesn't want to be mine, but I, I just want to be happy. Even if that means letting him be with someone else, that's okay. His happiness is well in mine. If you wanted me to leave him alone, I would. He seems to recoil the subject of romance as though it physically pains him. But if that's not because of me, then I, I don't understand why. I, I, I woof you. I woof you too. I wonder if you'd show to my persona. Icky and hit him treatment like I'm a dumb. Like, like I'm a dumb. Like I'm a dumb. A little simple animal. I always do cute things when my friends make soft noises and anime poses, speaking in a gentle voice. It's not like it's an axe and jokes go over my head, and I'm extremely shy as one that's falling over my woods a lot. I actually find some gearing. He always, always calling me cute and flustering me on purpose. But I'm not as stupid as I think I know something gets him right with him. He don't have enough fear of putting this pressure on Daisu. He closes in and pins him to the wall like some kind of arresting officer. Maybe that's why Daisu is so open with him. Like, he feels like he has to be. I feel like that one Stephen Queen story. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about, purple nude. Uh. I, I don't want to force him to open him up, but that, that's not how this should go. But, but he'll come to me already. I, I hope. There are some things that Hiro does which I just can't compare to. Like when we were getting, eating hot dogs at the beach. Hot dogs. Hiro was licking the ketchup off his fingers and Dudley was telling me to get look all sexy and stuff. And I know Daisuke was watching him. I, I just never... Did that tell you where he was going? I just ended up looking like a mess, uh, but I guess you need to clean up. But, but if Daisu says I have his heart, then why do I feel so threatened by Hiro? Is, is he the reason Daisu can't commit to me? No. Hiro's not gonna act on his urges. Like, but at the same time, like, I don't know. Hiro's the only way that Daisu open up, opens up to, so... I don't know. I don't know. You're not making sense, are you? Not really. Yeah, it's not like he's rival or anything. Daisu said to clear that. We're both specials in, but he's not available. So why am I so riled by the idea of that restraint on him coming from someone I know? Maybe it's not that at all. The idea of anyone holding him back would upset me. But, but. I can speak, I understand what I say when I write, but I can't understand after it's right. I mean, being sleep deprived can do some weird things to you. So, I mean, I. I'm not surprised that you can't comprehend what you say, like, afterwards. But sure, I'm not that possessive of my own best friend. I don't really get things too much. I, I get to spend time with him every day, and he, he makes me happy. So, so happy. And I really hope I make him happy, too. I'm, I'm going to keep doing my best to be there so that when he's ready, I, I can catch him if he falls. And if I don't, he may end up like my sister. She, she wanted to live. I know she did. There were graces on her fingers from calling the rope, but she... She got to change her mind or fought against the decision she made. 
I'll just be I, I don't think you'd want to meet her. Everyone just said I was gay and I said it's a serious of flashing murder. They, they claimed I was in denial, that, that I couldn't accept a broken mask at the time. I don't know who wanted to kill her, but she had that same chained expression Daisuke was a month before she died. Well, almost as though she was a puppet and someone else was oh, operating the strings. Purple nerd, uh, why don't you lie down for a bit? Just lie down for a bit and try to rest. Just, yeah, just try to lie down for a bit. Just, purple nerd, just try to lie down for a bit. Yeah, just try to lie down for a bit. Just take a rest. Nick, he's, um... He's extremely sleep-deprived. I think. Like, he... He stayed up... He pulled an all-nighter cleaning the house. So... Yeah, he pulled an all-nighter cleaning his house, and he's, like, extremely tired. So... Like, he's just extremely I suggest getting some rest people now. Like just lay down, close your eyes, try to rest for a bit. But oh, what's this that dice do and also having the strings pulled so so he'll walk to someone else's beat. That, that's why I'm worried about him. I I don't see such hydro or something like that because he he's chaotic. I I don't think he'll he'd hesitate to kill someone. But he has no mode that I know of, uh, the lines may overlap, but they, they don't connect. I'll, I'll figure it out one day. I'll break those chains so they can constrict around Dice's throat and take it from me too. But now I have to be there for him and that's all I can do. Dear Diary, do you know how to stop off from hurting? Dear Diary, do, do, do you know how to stop apart from beating? Daisu? I mean, Izu? Fluffy? The fuck is that last line that Izu said? Does Izu want to fucking die? Cause I think Izu wants to fucking die, dude! But, uh, yeah. But, uh, yeah. Uh, that was... That was the door mods from the Fluffyverse. Nice little hour of mods there. Pretty sweet. Three mods of one hour. Pretty cool. See y'all in the next video.